you are new to my channel, Aquahaven747, welcome. My name is Carol and I make videos and write a blog about lifestyle and home related topics to help you live a beautiful life and make your home a haven. Now I recently completed my stage three kitchen renovation and I shared that journey in a video which I will try and um, put the link down below for. But I am excited today to share with you my kitchen organization tour where I go into all the cupboards and drawers and I share tips and hacks about things that I found helpful and maybe you'll find them helpful too. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and we'll get started. Okay everyone, I will start the tour with this top drawer here. Here I have my everyday cutlery and my steak knives and they are in a utensil holder that I also got at Ikea that fits the drawer perfectly. In my old kitchen I had the other type that were like straight up on the sides and they don't quite fit in here. So if anybody's getting an Ikea kitchen, just be aware you need to get the special um, cutlery organizers that they sell. And they do sell cheaper ones too, the, the plain white plastic ones, which are also fine. That's what you're looking for. Now in the top drawer here, I have other serving ware and tongs there, uh, wine corkscrews and, st and toppers and an extra um, little thing to put salad dressing in. And I have some baby spoons here just in case um, anybody has a baby that comes here. My grandkids are getting a bit too old for that. Now I might end up purging those. Uh, oh, and this little thing uh, is so handy for, for uh, taking camping or what have you. I can't remember where I got that. I'm not sure if it was Tupperware. Uh, yeah, that's a Tupperware thing. But anyway. That's that. This is the closest thing I have to a junk drawer because I've got my flashlights, barbecue lighters, scissors here, um, food saver things, and odds and ends like some extra juicers and and uh, a cheese board. My the bottom drawer here, I keep all my tea towels and hand towels extra oven mitt, um, the little silicone uh, oven mitts, and a pot holder there. So that is that. And the dishwasher beside it. In my corner cabinet here, the one that's beside the dishwasher, I have all my to-go stuff. My plasticware that I use for taking lunches and suppers to work. Um, this one's kind of empty because I've been using it. I have my extra coffee cups and an extra, uh, what's that, a shake thing. And I have a few extra little plastic things in there. So these are I use all the time. At the bottom here I have all the glass ones. And I have, um, well, I would have had a couple more in there, but they are being used uh, at the moment. A few extra casserole dishes and bake pans. I have a roasting glass roasting pan in that case there, which is great. If uh, we have a potluck at work, I can uh, just take that in to work like that. So I just love this setup here. It's working great. We'll move on to the next. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you here on my countertop. Um, right by the sink, I have on a little towel holder my washcloths. Uh, I have a microfiber one and a cotton one. On a little silver platter that I got at a thrift store and my hand wash. That is the remote for my under cabinet lights. Love the under cabinet lights and in cabinet lights too. Um, this is a wine bottle holder, so if I have one open, it sits there. This happens to be the um, stopper that I'm using at the moment. It is wood and handmade. I love it. I put all my corks in this glass uh, apothecary jar and keep my 
wine bottles there, of course. Oh, and plugged into the plug at the back. Can't really see right here, but that is uh, my little Scentsy warmer. So anyway, uh, and then this cabinet right above here is my beverage cabinet. So I'll open it up and show you inside here. Yeah. Um, these are acrylic uh, glasses. So when my grandkids come over, those are for them to use. Regular glasses. I've got a couple of cheese boards or a cheese board there. And that's just another little platter in the back. They help to hide the cords because the in-cabinet lighting for Ikea, um, the way they tell you to install it is to put it on top. But I can't do that because mine goes right up to the ceiling. So I had to get creative here with that. So I have all my wine glasses here and different types here, another pitcher back there. Um, those are uh, depression glasses that were my grandmother's. My punch bowl set up there, it rarely gets used, which is why it is at the top. And it just looks kind of pretty and reminds me that once a year I have to use that. The um, painted wine glass there was a gift from a student. And it's just too pretty to use, but it's up there to display. And um, the extra picture and glass, I just love the, the blue, as you can probably guess. So that is that cabinet. And this drawer beside the sink, I keep all of my wraps and baggies and things like that. So they're all handy when I am getting stuff ready to take to work or, you know, barbecuing something with the foil, needing the foil. Um, so yeah, that's right there. I've already showed you what was in this cabinet, but I'll quickly show you again. This is my recycling bins in there and they pull out. The front ones for plastic and containers and the back for papers and cardboard. And I'm also not going to show you an in-depth view of my under sink because I have another video already for that and I will link that below. So that is that. In this pull-out cabinet here, I have all my dishwasher tabs in these uh, jars up here and SOS um, pads there that I cut, cut cut in half I think so they uh, go a little bit further and down below I have this um, this uh, collapsible over the sink strainer and the collapsible dish rack so when I have to wash things by hand I just pop that in the sink and uh, yeah, so far working good. Okay, in my other corner cabinet here beside the stove, I will open that up. On the door, I have a little command hook here with my oven mitt and a little pot holder there. On the Lazy Susan, I have all my small electric appliances. My toaster is sitting in a plastic bin here, so I take the whole thing out when I want to have toast and it keeps all the crumbs in the bin. So much easier to clean up. I have little bins um, over here for smaller items. It keeps it all contained and when I want to have a shake, I just put that up here uh, right above it. Beside the clock, plug it in where the coffee maker is and have my shake and it's not a big deal to put it back. Um, I have this bin here with my hand mixer, immersion blender, and electric knife there. And I have a little food chopper. And of course I have my blender over there too, and that's it. Um, on the bottom, um, Lazy Susan, I have my crock pots, which I use all the time, and my big roaster, which maybe gets once or twice a year when I have a turkey. So that is it for that cupboard. My, this is my coffee maker, of course. Use that every day. And right above that is my coffee cupboard. So here I have a little basket, which I've hung on little hooks that stick to the cabinet to put my coffee filters in. I have this little dish here to put my uh, coffee scoop there so I don't get coffee grinds all over the place. I have regular coffee in this one. 
um, just says coffee in that one. And this one is ah, decaf coffee. And, up the, and the other one I have hot chocolate. I've got um, cinnamon and I got this Kahlua flavored coffee and some coffee flavoring back there. So that's on the first shelf there, nice and handy to my coffee maker. And then this is my extra special uh, mugs, just favorite mugs that I have there. And in this little basket here, and in that um, little wooden box there, I have all my teas. I've got a little tea thing to put a tea bag on. Um, oh, and some sweetener. So that, oh, and I've also used one of those um, extra shelf uh, things that we can stick in there. Up at the top, I can't really reach it, so... I have uh, a coffee grinder on display and uh, uh, my favorite little teapot. Uh, don't use them, but they're just for decoration. And then the back, I have extra um, coffee filters and an extra thing of coffee. Um, so when I run out here, I can fill it up from up there. Okay, so in this corner cabinet, I have all my white wear my white serving dishes, and I also have my sugar bowl and a creamer here in the white, and that is filled with sugar. So I don't take sugar in my coffee or tea, but if anybody else does, it's handy right here. I've got some little cute little um, chicken egg cups, uh, some like that, some more in the back, a big white bowl, um, a butter dish, uh, a milk jug, little leaf uh, serving bowl. Got a couple serving bowls and platters, divided dish. Um, this one back here is um, an antique that was, I think it was uh, my grandmother's on my mom's side. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who it belonged to originally. And I have them all uh, on standing up on these little brass colored um, stands I got at the dollar store for plates. Um, the same with the ones up here. I've got um, the antique chicken dish was definitely my grandmother's on my dad's side. Um, the other things I either got at um, a thrift store. I got a few of them. I got some of them at uh, HomeSense. So yeah, and I use those mainly for special occasions. So that is my white cupboard. Okay, so this is my corner with my stove and everything. I hang my um, hand towel and tea towel on the um, stove there. It gives a spot of color as well. And I keep my kettle on the stove so it's handy for when I want a cup of tea. And here in my utensil holder, which also has a chicken on it, I have all my regularly used utensils. I use them all the time. And then in this cabinet, right there, beside the stove, I have my protein shakes and supplements. And I have all my oils and vinegars, um, Adoro oil. Um, and up top, I have some extra oils, vinegars, and salt and pepper shakers. Also in um, my favorite color, the aqua with the chickens on it. Oh, and also on my oils and vinegar, I have used a wood, a little wood uh, Lazy Susan, which I just love. It's worked out really well. Um, and in my supplement thing, I got this little container, this blue container at, um, I think it was a Goodwill store. Unfortunately, they're not in business anymore, but there's lots of thrift stores around and you can always use um, things you have around the house. Now in this cabinet beside the stove, I have a set of canisters up here and 
some paper towels. Uh, in this one, I keep my little elastic bands. And in this one, I have like twist tie thingies. And this one, I have um, the plastic gloves, disposable gloves. And in this one, I have nothing yet. I decided what I'm using that one for. So anyway, in the top drawer here, I have, have all my pots and pans and frying pans and my colander. And uh, yeah, I love that. Nice and handy beside the stove. And then I have all my other utensils and cooking knives right beside the stove. So that's great. I did pare down a lot of stuff. I decluttered a lot. And um, I will probably continue to do that uh, as I find I'm not using things. So I have my, um, my egg separator which I've had for years. Again, it's a chicken. And I love this spoon rest, Cucina Italiana. So nice and handy. Unfortunately, I see it's got a little chip in there. I don't know how that happened, but anyway. Uh, there you have it. That's that drawer. And in the bottom, this is my baking drawer. I've used a rack to keep my um, tins um, in, in space vertically. My cake pans and pie pans and I got a cutting board there. In this bin I have the uh, measuring cups and bowls and uh, funnels and some uh, wax paper that's left over there. I've got my cutting boards here, rolling pan, parchment paper, Mixing bowls, of course, loaf pan, colander set, um, and smaller. Um, I got this smaller uh, stainless steel uh, bowl there as well. So that's all nice and handy by the stove. And that's the lower cabinet. Now, I know this isn't very exciting here, but this is my back door by my garage where I hang my uh, coat and purse and lunch bag and all my keys and stuff. Um, I have my um, fire extinguisher right there by the door, my handy dandy little step ladder right there, and then here I have my you know, broom closet, I guess you would call it. So this slides right out so I can get it easily. I've got my you know bucket and my dustpan and, and brush and um, to change the, what do you call them? The pads to change the floor sweeper, my steam mop, and uh, just a few cleaning things up there. Okay, and this upper cabinet here, so I had to stand on a ladder to get up here. I have my water bottles on a wine rack. That was a great hack I got from Aggie, Abby Organizes. And I uh, got the two uh, jugs in the back if I ever want to make juice or anything like that for the kids. On the next shelf up, I have another um, tray with these baskets. And I have some extra kitchen ga gadgets in here like hamburger patty makers and spaghetti makers and extra um, ice cube things in that one. And popsicle makers too, I think. And in the top one, I have another tray, which I can easily pull out. I can just bring this whole thing down. It's got all my paper plates and napkins and disposable cups and straws and um, cutlery here. So, um, and yes, I had to get up on my ladder ah, to show you all that. Okay, above the fridge here, I have to stand on my ladder and I just keep things up here that I do not need to access very often, like maybe once a year. I've got uh, vases and three-tiered serving platter, um, 
other um, platters and chargers. Um, yeah, and cookie tins. Uh, so yeah, all the kind of things for entertaining that I don't do very often. So that's that. Okay, so finally, beside the fridge, I have my pantry cupboard and drawers. Now, I've already done a uh, pantry organization video, so I will not go into any detail with that. I'll try and link it below. Uh, I did want to point out, though, my wooden fruit bowl that I grew up with uh, as a kid, so that is a sentimental thing for me. I just think it gives a nice homey little touch there. So hopefully you liked this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any uh, ideas for more organization ideas or any questions, please comment below. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe.